Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And today is day one of the four-day prayer and fasting for May. Somebody say hallelujah. And I just have this word in my spirit, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Ephesians 5 verse 14, therefore he says, awake you who sleep, arise from the dead and Christ will give you light. And according to Isaiah 26 verse 19, your dead shall live together with my dead body they shall arise awake and sing you who dwell in dust for your dew is like the dew of herbs and the earth shall cast out the dead and according to Romans 13 verse 11 it says and do this knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep for now our soul Salvation is nearer than we first believe. Somebody say hallelujah. Precious saints, I am here to declare to you that Christ Jesus is coming back soon. He is coming back for a glorified church. He is coming back for a spotless church. He is coming back for a blameless bride. Somebody say hallelujah. And I believe that revival is coming to the church of Jesus Christ. Yes, I will say it again. I believe that revival is coming to the church of Jesus Christ to the remnant to prepare a remnant bride for himself. He is coming for a spotless bride. And I believe that revival is coming. And even as now I'm coming from the prayer mountain, as the autumn rains are starting to kick in to make way for the winter. And just as I received a word from these prayer mountains saying that the rain of the Holy Spirit is coming, I am also continually declaring across the earth that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. He is the way, the truth and the life. And in Him, if we put our trust in Him, we shall not die, but have eternal life in Him because He is the resurrection and the life. Somebody say hallelujah. Jesus Christ is about to come back and to return. We are in the end times. We are nearer than ever before. And just as the Bible says, awaken from your spiritual sleep. Awaken you spiritually dead. That's what happens when revival comes. It brings to life that thing that is dead. It brings to life. And just as the Bible says, according to Ezekiel 37, we see that even the prophet, he was taken to the mountain. God took him to the mountain and he said, look down in the valley. What do you see? He says, I see spiritual bones. And he says, is it possible for them to come alive? And he says, I do not know anything, but God, you know everything. And then he commands the prophet, speak to those dry bones that they may come alive. Even in the midst of a situation that is happening all across the earth, God is speaking to the church of Jesus Christ. God is speaking. He is speaking through his remnant. He is speaking through his remnant within this hour. And he is saying, I will do the impossible. I will do the impossible. God is about to pour out his spirit in such a measure we have never seen before. And as I have traversed the earth, as I've been declaring this, people have been asleep. Some of them didn't come awake, but Others are starting to arise, to arouse into, coming out of a slumber. And just as we saw the ten virgins, five were foolish, and there were five that were wise. They awakened to the midnight hour. They awakened to the message that the bridegroom is coming. That is the message for this hour. Jesus Christ is our only hope.
hope. He is the resurrection. He is the way. He is the truth. And He is the life. But the Holy Spirit is about to be poured out. And as the Bible declares, it says that the glory shall cover the earth just as the waters cover cover the sea. And I believe that revival is coming to the nations, even in the midst of turmoil, even in the midst of rumors of war, even in the midst of all civil unrest taking place across the nations and all different things taking place, even within your personal life. I believe revival is coming to the church of Jesus Christ. Precious saints, it is now time to awaken out of your slumber. It is now time to arise and shine and prepare for what is about to come. I believe that revival is birthed in prayer. It is birthed in travailing prayer. It is birthed in that prayer that comes deep down into the spirit man where you start to travail where the Holy Spirit starts to groan without utterance, without understanding but with an utterance of the spirit deep down within inside of us. I believe it is now time for revival as the Lord had shown me this is the year of release this is the year of release, release of revival release of his glory release of his anointing, release of deliverance that is about to come upon the earth. And I believe God is about to shake things up. God is about to shake things up, but he is also looking for an army, an army that will arise and shine, that will wake up from the slumber, that will wake up and arise and be aroused to the call of Jesus Christ, that he is calling us. He is telling us to arise and shine in this hour. Precious saints, it is time. It is now time as you press in to this four day fasting, as you press in, I would encourage you, I would encourage you to humble yourself, humble yourself under God's mighty hand and say, God, if any of these attributes are operating in my life, in my family life, in my generational family line, Lord, cut it off from the root today cut it off from the root today. I am a new creation. I want to be separated. I want to be separated from everything that is happening around me at this particular time. I want to be separated. I want to be used for God's glory. God wants to use you. God wants to use you in this hour. So Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you will arise in this hour. Oh God, you will stir up people spirit in this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare today, oh God, you're going to do a new thing. Oh God, you're going to do a new thing. Oh God, you're going to do a new thing. You're going to stir people up in this hour. You're going to stir them and arouse them to awaken from their slumber, to be ready for what God is about to do in this hour. Send revival to the nations. Send revival to the hungry. Send revival to the thirsty. Oh God, where we have put idle and material things before you, where we have sought fame and all other things that are not our focus. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus, humble us as we seek a fresh touch from you, as we seek to be revived within this hour. Come and touch people. Even over the next four days, revive your people. Even over the next day, oh God, I pray that you would stir people up in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, I pray. Let there be a travail in each person's spirit. Let the Holy Ghost rise up within us. We are hungry. We are thirsty. Oh God, you're about to do something. Oh God, you're about to touch. Oh God, you're about to move in this hour like never before. Oh God, arise and let our enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise 
arise and deliver your people. Oh God, arise and heal your people. Oh God, make a way where there seems no way. In the name of Jesus Christ, have your way, oh Lord. 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 Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare it today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you from the wilderness, declaring Jesus Christ is coming back soon, declaring to you revival is coming to the nations, declaring to you he's about to snatch away his bride, but he must come and purify his bride. He must come and prepare his bride. Be prepared, precious saints. Arouse to the awakening and to the call of God that is saying, Awaken from your slumber. Awaken from your slumber in this hour. Jesus Christ is coming back soon, but he's about to do something upon the earth. Oh God, Lord, Lord, we pray that just as your glory shall cover the earth, just as the waters cover the sea, oh God, do something where you receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Come and touch your people. Today is day one of the prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you. If you have liked this utterance, I encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or even go to our free website repentancerevival.com. Get plugged in. Join one of our WhatsApp groups. Get plugged in and then, then invite others to join in that they may not miss out on the message within this hour to prepare us for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, from my family to yours, shalom, shalom, shalom.